So there's a lot of ways that you can go wrong when trying to pick a product to sell for your product based side hustle. Uh, so hopefully, you know, this simple approach uh, can help you steer away from trouble and actually find the perfect product for you to be able to sell. Whether you want to sell an e-commerce product or an information product, some kind of course, or whether you want to sell a software as a service product. So there are two basic rules that I recommend that you need to uh, roll with when trying to pick uh, the perfect product for you to sell. So it's uh, two basic uh, rules of thumb. So the first one is pick a product that you know a lot about. So what this means, for example, is that you are not going to sell a vitamin supplement if you've never uh, heard anything about vitamin supplements. Like there was a time a few years ago when Kylie Jenner became a billionaire with makeup, right? And, you know, lipsticks and, you know, face powders and whatever other <laughs> uh, cool stuff. Uh, that people use in makeup. Now, I've never used makeup, uh, so I wouldn't know. But the thing is, you had a lot of people excited about makeup, and you would find in that kind of space that there would be some people that have never used makeup, but they hear that Kylie became a billionaire, so all of a sudden they set up stores trying to sell makeup. But some of them are dudes that would know makeup if they walked into it. And uh, that's a problem because those kinds of side hustles typically fail and you might actually waste a whole bunch of money because you know zero about the actual product that you would be selling. So don't let that be you. Sell something that you know a lot about. Uh, so that's, that's rule number one. Rule number two is sell a, pro sell a product that you yourself have bought before. So uh, again, in the makeup example, if you were uh, a girl like Kylie Jenner, who was using makeup all the time, and you were regularly going to the mall every weekend and buying new assortments of makeup, guess what? Now it means you have a thorough knowledge of what products are on the market. You know what their strengths are, what their weaknesses are, and you know what's missing on the market. This is the kind of knowledge that somebody who has never bought that kind of product really would, would not have. So that's basically how you do it, is pick something that you know a ton about, as well as something that you yourself have bought before. So I'll give you an example in my own life. So in my spare time, I'm a guitar player. I like to play guitar. So the things I have, so if I apply those two rules to identify a product that I could sell is uh, something that I know a lot about. So I know a lot about guitars, right? Because I'm playing them uh, all the time. I'm playing all the time. So I could start an online store selling guitars. And I can actually pick really good guitars because I know a ton about guitars, <laughs> right? <laughs> so th that, that would be a good product for me to sell. The other rule is to pick a product that I myself have bought. So yes, I, ha I have bought guitars and I have also bought uh, guitar courses. So if I were to start maybe... Uh, a course business of my own selling guitar courses that should go well because I've, I've already bought a ton of guitar courses. I know what's on the market. I know what makes a good um, guitar course. And I've already bought this stuff myself. So I know other people buy this kind of stuff. So I hope you can see how you would actually apply these uh, two rules in principle to zero in on the exact product that's gonna make your own product-based side hustle a success. If you need more resources, uh, grab some of my free resources. Links are in the description.